Hello YouTube, this is the fifth video in our JavaScript Basics tutorial series. In this video I'm going to be talking about operators. Operators are used in math and any kind of uh, calculation. Um, there are a lot of a lot of them, but there are four basic ones, obviously, add, subtract, uh, divide, and multiply. And I'm going to be using those as well as showing you how to use them to combine strings. Um, so I'll just jump right into it. I'm going to use variables. Uh, we'll say sum is going to be equal to 7 plus 4. Now I'm going to say difference is equal to 7 minus 4. And I'm going to say quotient. Hopefully that's spelled right. Is equal to 7 divided by 4. And product. Now these are all going to be pretty obvious results, so I'm not really going to show you what they do. But um, basically, JavaScript has an order of operations that, or it follows the standard order of operations. So if you say var total is equal to 7 plus 4 divided by 6 or divided by 2 it's going to divide 4 by 2 and then add 7 to it so it's going to do multiplication first and then addition and subtraction or sorry div division and multiplication and then addition and subtraction um, so if we log that out, we want to do we want what we want to get is nine seven plus four divided by two. Console dot log total, and we get nine. Um, so you can do this with a really long string of operations, but basically, I mean. Basically, if you want to change that order of operations, you're going to have to use parentheses, just like you can do in math. And it will totally change the outcome. Um, so that's, that's using oper basic operators with, with numbers, but we can also use operators, well, I guess one operator with strings. I don't know why JavaScript doesn't use a different one. Well, let me show you first. Uh, a string, var string two, another string. Now, obviously, you can't actually add the number values of these together. So what JavaScript is going to do is it's going to combine these two strings. Now, I don't know why JavaScript uses plus as a combination operator, but it does. Most other languages use a period, or not most. Some other languages use periods uh, to combine them like that, which is nice because it differentiates between addition and combination. So like, if I do var output is equal to string one plus six or five plus string two,
it doesn't actually add 5 to anything. It just it assumes that since there's a string on one side of the combination or of the operator that it's going to be combination so it combines it converts 5 into a string and then combines these two strings. Same with this one. It has a string on one side so it assumes it's combination so it co converts 5 to a string and combines them. Um, so this is essentially the same thing as this. Now if you want to do 5 plus 6 plus string 2 you're going to get an issue. You're going to have some problems. You're going to get an issue. Um, it's not going to add 5 and 6 together like you want it to. It's going to assume that they're strings. So to fix that you have to use parentheses and it will tell JavaScript that anything inside the it will tell JavaScript to check this again to make sure that it's a that, that it's getting the right type of, type of operator and it will return 11 right here instead of 5 and 6 as strings there we go so that's about it for this tutorial we'll be going over conditional operators which are kind of a confusing topic in the next tutorial but that's all for this one. In the next tutorial, we'll, talk, we'll be talking about if and else statements as well as conditional operators. Uh, it's kind of a hard, hard subject, but hopefully we get through it okay. Um, if you get stuck on the next tutorial or this one, make sure that you look at the W3Schools tutorials. They have good documentation on this stuff. Um, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.